the thing about Anthony is that he loves what he does and he does it with a passion. I got interested in medicine from a very early age, primarily based on the influence of my mother. I come from a family of uh, traditional healers. My grandparents, uh, local medicine type doctors, they didn't have formal education, but it goes down from generation to generation. One of the reasons that led me to obstetrics and gynecology actually has to do with a personal difficult experience when I was growing up. My mom did have the two children, but like a lot of African moms, they like large families. So she actually tried unsuccessfully to have more children. So within my mind, it was playing out that having seen the agony of my parents with the pregnancy losses, I felt that if I could acquire the skills and knowledge uh, in this area of medicine, perhaps that might become useful to some other people later on in my life. Professor Joseph Harris from the Department of Biology was my mentor from the very beginning, from freshman botany all the way to graduate classes that I took with him. He took me in as one of his sons, and I've been fortunate enough that he provided the guidance and counseling that I needed uh, in my personal life as well as in my professional life, and I'm happy to have been associated with Dr. Harris's family, and we continue to be very uh, good and close friends. One of the highlights of my career is the privilege of taking care of a complicated high-risk pregnancy that resulted in the birth of four uh, healthy uh, newborns. So we do know that with four babies in there, there's a higher risk of pregnancy loss, so we're sort of like in a dilemma. On the one hand, she wanted all the babies. On the other hand, we're looking at a situation where she may actually end up with none. And we thought, okay, fine, we'll try and push the pregnancy as far as we could. And we were fortunate enough, she actually made it to about 32 weeks. The babies were actually doing well, but at that point she developed severe hypertension that put her life as well as the baby's life at risk of significant morbidity. So we had to intervene, but we took all the necessary precautions. We mobilized the team of doctors to do the operative delivery a team of neonatologists to take care of the young new babies, nursing teams on both sides from the obstetrical side and the neonatal side, and we were able to get four healthy babies. The family was happy, I was happy, everybody was happy. Dr. Agundepe really epitomizes the core values of the Daughters of Charity and St. Francis Medical Center. He was uh, chosen by his peers as being uh, the Vincentian Spirit Award winner, which is really the highest honor a physician can be bestowed here at St. Francis Medical Center. Dr. Agundepe was asked, uh, what does St. Francis Medical Center mean to this community and why are you here? And I'll never forget his words, if not us, then who? And that really epitomizes how he believes the community needs physician like himself to allow the community to live to its full potential. He cares about people and he's the stranger who helps somebody in need. One of the things uh, that makes him stand out is that he's an excellent perinatologist and uh, he's well respected by us all and he's always willing to participate in the care of our patients no matter what the circumstances are. We can call him, he'll respond, and he'll be there to help us when needed. Being a recipient of the Distinguished Alumni Award from the University of Wisconsin Stevens Point has at least a couple of different meanings to me. First, it reaffirms in my mind that the work of the people that have supported us from the very beginning, my family, my friends, my professors, and the support people have at Stevens Point, their work has not gone in vain. We have gotten a good results out of that. 
Uh, secondly, um, I see it as an inspiration for the people that come after us. Um, I'm hoping that my children can see this and see me as a positive role model in their life. Uh, I'm thinking that I can use this as a platform to reach out to students in the inner cities, in the underprivileged areas. And finally, I think it's telling us that so much work still needs to be done. The university does a lot of good work, but the university does need a lot of support. I want to thank everybody at Stevens Point, University of Wisconsin Stevens Point, for making this happen. I really appreciate it.